see we are inviting a real estate company okay um we are renting the apartments to the tenant and when we yeah. are giving the apartments to them we are giving them in very perfect condition painted and fully maintained and it is written in the contract that whenever they will vacate the apartment they need to make it maintain and hand over it to them before they will keep to us and if they will not hand over uh, in the perfect condition then we will deduct the fly uh, the, the money from their security deposit to maintain the expense and all that now basically we have some of our people like sub contractor and they are working for us in a low amount for example uh, if the painting is in market 700 dirham they are charging is charging us 250 dirham because we are giving them all the work of, uh, of our so basically this uh, like the tenant we can charge him like market price 700 dirham instead of charging 250 because we are giving him services that's my question Mehosh, would you please stay on the line? Let me make sure that I really comprehended your question. As a landlord or as a real estate agent, when you rent an apartment to a tenant, the contract says that there is a security deposit amount in case that uh, there is any damage or if uh, any penalties were not paid or if he's late on the payment, you know, that would be deducted from the security deposit fund. Okay, so you're saying that if there is any damage that you have to fix it, you charge him the market price or the price which actually costs you. Am I correct? Did I understand your question correctly? Let me let me answer a general question because this is something that you know it's related to all of us because each one of us is either a tenant or a landlord. When Uh, you take a security deposit and you say if there is any damage when you turn the key back. Before you collect your security deposit, damage has to be fixed and repaired. So there is a market price and there is, I already have my staff who take care of fixing everything. I here rely on a hadith. In which the Prophet ﷺ said, "Rahim Allah Allah Rajulan, Samhan, Ida Baa, Wa Ida Shtara, Wa Ida Qtada." The Prophet ﷺ prayed for a person who is nice, easygoing, simple, kind, and gentle on people whenever he purchases, whenever he sells, and whenever he asks for his debt to be settled. He gave a loan to somebody, and now it is the 30th. This is the due date, and he doesn't have, so he says, give him another day or two. This is because he's kind. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will have mercy on this person. Allah will have mercy on a landlord whom whenever the tenant is about to leave, the damage is something not major. So, hey, man, take your full deposit. Thank you so much. Uh, you're really nice. You're the nicest landlord I have ever seen. It will not cost me 50 bucks, no problem. And I've made enough profit from the tenant. But there are some people who are, if they can suck the blood of people whom they deal with, they will do it. Such people, they're not just stingy. Allah doesn't like them. Allah abhors such people. Be nice. Inna Allah katab al-ihsana ala kulli shay. So as long as you already have my staff who fix the plumbing, who fix the paint, who fix electricity. And uh, it is something fixable, and I know it will cost 100 bucks. So I charge 200, no problem. But you know, if you, if you were to order a company to do it, they will charge 700. Why do you charge 700? Did it cost you 700? No. So why do you charge 700? That would be uh, some sort of exaggeration and taking advantage. You only take what have actually caused you to fix it. Thank you, Sister Marash. Barakallahu feek.